I'm at street level here uh, with uh, some guys from McGill. I'm here with Sam Bruno and Paul Asha. Uh, they're part of a team that built this thing here. It's an electric race car. Uh, guys, first of all, welcome to the show. Very happy that uh, you made it here and that you brought your, uh, your machine with you. I guess, first of all, I, why, why a race car? Uh, you know, wh what made you decide to get into this? And it's an actual functioning race car here. Yeah, yeah. this is a part of the Formula SAE student series. So many universities around the world build one of these and then compete against each other at different events. Uh, it's a great learning experience for students. And obviously, it's a race car. We get to drive it, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun for you guys. And Paul, let me let me ask you, because this is, I, I, like I said, a performing race car. What kind of work does it take to build one of these things? You're all studying engineering, uh, but what kind of work, like from from the start to, to making it a functional race car? Uh, it's like having another job. You know, you're studying full time, but after your classes, you're going down to the shop, staying there until midnight or one o'clock. You wake up the next day, do it again, and this is what we do from August until our competition in June. So you mentioned that it's part of a series uh, of people all around the world do this. You were just in Nebraska for uh, for a competition, and you guys did very well. I believe you did probably the best you've ever done so far. Yeah, um, uh, we finished second place overall out of 20 teams. Actually, yeah, first place in North America. Uh, we had a really good result. <laughs> Tell me about the specifics of this car. I was just asking you over the break, and it's fascinating. What kind of performance can we see from one of those vehicles here? Uh, so the car is really light. It only weighs about 240 kilos. It has 100 horsepower, so you see uh, 0 to 100 acceleration times, a bit below 3 seconds. Our top speed's 120, but it corners really well because of the wings. Oh, wow. Hey, so can we, are you guys going to evolve with this race car here? Do you want to change the design maybe and make it faster, make it bigger? Uh, so the Formula SA series encompasses both electric and combustion cars. So what we're doing for next year is we're actually going back to combustion. Uh, we're employing new technologies such as carbon fiber to make the entire chassis. And we're also developing the aerodynamics package. So we really want to encompass the whole electric as well as combustion powertrain learning aspect of the competition. So more to come, more speed, more another design, guys. This is all so, so impressive. Congratulations. You're part of a team, of course. So uh, we only have two of you here this morning uh, to speak with us. But uh, keep it up. What's next? Uh, uh, an electric airplane, maybe? <laughs> uh, we also do in the winter an electric snowmobile. <laughs> I know we had you guys on the show for that. So always more to come. This is very, very inspiring, guys. Keep it up and ca good luck. Hey, I'm going to get you to hold my, uh, my pad here in the mic. I'm going to try and sit in there. Is that OK? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, after the break, guys, a, uh, a cute video of Elias Mako standing by. I'm getting into this race car. We're going to go to break. Take it easy. We'll be right back.